you know, fall down and scream. In The Adam Project, Ryan Reynolds plays a time traveler who meets his younger self. The Canadian actor says he wanted to revisit the kind of films he was raised on. We watched over and over again E.T. and Goonies and Back to the Future and Stand By Me. And... Nope. The movie is a reunion for Reynolds, who filmed the summer smash Free Guy with Montreal director Sean Levy. In a world of sequels and spin-offs, Free Guy was the only original film in 2021's Top 10. The thing that's remarkable is this is an original story. This is something fresh. Yeah. You did that with Free Guy. You did that with Red Notice. Like, you could have done Goonies the sequel. Like, Hollywood is littered with IP and franchises. Yeah. Are you worried about the risk? Netflix is, is, is probably the foremost player in the game of making big tentpole originals right now. And I'm super grateful that they let us do this. And, and I think that it's, uh, it's kind of an amazing thing. I would be crucified and killed if I did Goonies 2 uh, just out of the blue. I also <laughs> Reynolds likes to joke, but under the time-traveling shenanigans is a story about a son missing his father. Reynolds lost his own father to Parkinson's disease a few years ago. He is playing scenes that are extremely relatable to him when he finally makes peace with his old man at the end of The Adam Project. That's the moment that Ryan never got to have with James Reynolds. Besides getting real, Reynolds is giving back with his organization Group Effort Initiative, which brings marginalized voices into the industry. Voices like trans theater student AJ. He was like, oh yeah, like you use they, them pronouns, right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and AJ had their own message for Reynolds. He is so worried about like taking care of everyone else sometimes that I think that he doesn't realize just how much good he has put into the world. They're making me cry. That was awesome. While Reynolds won't slow down, he says the idea behind the program and everything he does is telling better stories. Be so Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto. Let's try.